I see. So this happened yesterday. And uh, in the post, I kept seeing people talking about the CEO. See, that's what's happening. These CEO, these billionaires, and they get this money in all this. See, this is the type of stuff I talk about on my podcast, Humans Are Trash. And let me show you how this is a human issue and not a CEO issue. So CEOs, for people that don't know, uh, uh, they, they run companies and they have to answer to a board of directors. The board of directors have to answer to the shareholders. Shareholders are people who bought stock into that company. So I know you're like, rich people own stock. No, you own stock. When you complain about your 401k and your retirement plans and all this, that those are stocks. The, the lion's share of these portfolios of a lot of these billionaires and stuff like that, they're, they're, they're your 401ks. So these are the shares when you complain about someone, you like want your 401k to go up and all this stuff right here. You, you the greedy bastards. So don't, don't so, and, and I'm not, I'm not saying that like, like it's wrong because you should want your 401k to go up. You don't work hard. You want to retire. I get all of that right there. But I say this to say this humans, we love to create boogeyman. We, we always want somebody else to be the boogeyman. And sometimes you the boogeyman. And you don't realize it because you're so far removed from the child that you're scaring on top of the bed. You that, that That's it. But the thing about it is, so, and I know you're like, but well, these CEOs make these decisions. They make these decisions to make these companies make money. These companies need to make money because they need to pay their shareholders. That is required by law. So everybody want money. The company want money. The CEO want money. The shareholders want money. You the shareholder. You want the money. So my thing ain't to blame you, but my thing is don't go throwing stones when you, the glass house that built this CEO. And and because we, we love to make it seem like rich people are the problem. But rich people ain't the problem. But the problem is that we don't hold these rich people to higher moral standards. That's the problem. We let people get rich and then they throw their morals out the window. And because they rich, they no longer have to answer to the same moral codes that we have to answer to. See uh, your soon to be president of the United States as the exhibit A for what I'm talking about. So... This the CEO, and, and don't get me, and I get this. This is a touchy issue because this surrounds healthcare. And anytime you talk about healthcare and insurance companies, people start to get in their feelings. So I get that, but you have to separate the two because a health, a, an insurance company is just a business. Regardless of what they do, they're a business. And this is why another reason why I blame us for this is because. In America, we continuously vote against our best interests. There's no way in the hell we should be the only industrialized country that does not have universal health care. But we don't have it because you keep voting against it. You don't care enough. And when I say you don't care enough, exhibit to look at is South Korea. Their president he, he, he declared martial law. Basically, when you declare martial law, and we had that in the United States, just for the record, the president can declare martial law. Basically, the president becomes almost like a king. Anything he say goes and is what it is once he declares martial law. But when he did that, you know what the people say? Not today, Satan. Not today. Not in South Korea, you won't. And they got out. And you know what's going to happen? His ass is getting ready to get fired right now. That's what they doing. What did we do when the president tried to take over the country? Y'all elected him to be president again. This is what I mean when I say humans are trash.